So today we have a service call on a walk-in freezer that is not working. It is currently probably in the high 30s in here right now. Evaporator fan motors are running. There is no ice on the coil. So at this point, it's time to get up onto the roof and see what's going on. So as we come up onto the roof, walk over to the refrigeration equipment right here. One of these is a freezer. This one is R22 refrigerant, so it's not this one. This is the freezer right here. Condenser is a little dirty. Condensing unit is not running at all. So we will gauge up, but first we're gonna start in the electrical section. So we'll open up the electrical section here, see what we come across. Right off the bat, that contact is burnt. So, we'll have to get in there and figure out what's going on here. Looks like there was a burn coming out of the time clock too or something. Something's going on here, obviously. from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 196, 196 from 1 to 3, nothing going out, let's check our time clock, you want to be careful this thing doesn't short more on you, so we'll go from uh, 1 to end, 196, that's good. Okay, and then from three to end, that's our heater circuit. We should have zero, that's good. And then from four to end, that's 195, that's our refrigeration circuit. So the defrost clock is sending power where it's supposed to be. But something's going on down here. I don't like that connection. For the most part, it looks like it might be working. So I'm gonna have to dig in here a little bit more. Because I know how this unit works, I went ahead and pulled the cover off and we'll spin these condenser fan motors real quick. Okay, so we have a bad condenser fan motor. This one's spinning really slow. I bet you anything that's bad. And let's go ahead and hit the high pressure switch. There we go. So it was off on high pressure, but that right side fan motor is going bad. So we're gonna watch this operate for a minute and then we will uh, look into that condenser fan motor. I think the electrical issue is another thing. We'll obviously fix it but so this looks like it was off on high pressure again I have not put my service gauges on it yet that's something I'm gonna go get right now and we'll do that but for sure it looks like we're gonna have to change a fan motor and what made me think that fan motor was bad was when I spun the left one it spun freely and the right one stopped really quick it's just something you get used to seeing you know and for instance we could turn this off real quick and you'll probably see it the right one will stop before the left one more than likely you see how it, it, it just kind of came to a stop where the left one is rolling nice and slow. The right one, you spin it again, it's just gonna stop. Like it just stops. So it's just one of those things you tend to notice when a fan motor is going bad. So I don't know if this experiment's gonna work or not. I'm gonna try it with you guys watching. I've shut off the unit, I verified that there's no power. And a lot of times when you see a terminal like this, it's because of a loose connection. So, if I try to torque on that, let's see if it turns, and it does. I turned it quite a bit. The other ones I'm not getting a turn out of. Not, not nearly. Yeah. So I'm barely getting anything with that. And I'd ex also expect you're not always going to see it. When it's already burnt, it's already charred really bad, and a lot of times you can't turn them. But this one right here had a loose connection. And it's been so loose for so long, it's been arcing. Arcing causes, or you know, a heat is a symptom of that. And basically it's been, you know, sparking and arcing inside there and it's starting to melt the contactor. So we're gonna have to replace that contactor. If this was a big giant fancy Siemens controller, you can replace the lugs, but not on something this cheesy. Just a little Mars contactor. So we're definitely gonna replace that no matter what. And we're probably gonna go ahead and replace that before we go any further because that can cause damage. Another thing, is right here on this guy right here, I'm seeing some heat damage too, so let's try to tighten that. 
Oh yeah, nice. Look at that, I got a nice good turn out of it. So that's another thing, loose connections, big time. Big time, big time. The other ones aren't turning. So when you guys see discolored wires, if you can catch them early, a lot of times it's just loose connections. So you see on the bottom how that bottom connector is, is kind of discolored. And it's because this screw was loose. Same thing. This screw right here, this lug, was loose. So, but this one has already done damage to the contactor, so we're going to replace it. This one's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. So I went and picked up a new condenser fan motor and a blade, went ahead and replaced that. Everything's looking good. It's where it should be. I'm going to about to uh, apply my service here just, just to check out the unit. I also went ahead and replaced the compressor contactor, put a new one in there. Everything's looking good, so we're going to finish troubleshooting now. Okay, we're looking pretty good now. Uh, unit had a clear sight glass. Refrigerant pressures were right about where they should be. The biggest thing is the clear sight glass. Uh, the box is under a heavy load right now because it's nice and warm in there. And I went ahead and did a quick cleaning on the condenser. We're going to schedule to come back and do a full clean because they got a bunch of condensers. They got a bunch of dirt and grease on them. I straightened out the fins as best as possible. Nothing too crazy. You can only do so much with one of these old units. But uh, the condenser's not clean inside. I can actually see through it. There was just a nice layer of lint on the top of this. So I just used my big brush that's sticking out of the bucket, gave it a good brush down, and then just straighten out the fins real quick as best as possible, and that's it. So we're gonna go down. I'm just gonna look at the evaporator, make sure it's nice and cold in there. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna tell them to keep an eye on it.